the sleeper gill drop you've all been waiting on. Evergreen re-releases the Royal Flash Jr. and the latest limited edition respect series drop from Mega Bass. This is what's new this week at the Hookup Tackle. Welcome to the Hookup Tackle. The Hookup Tackle is the world's largest showcase of Mega Bass products, featuring baits and colors not found at any other dealer. The Hookup also offers a wide display of OSP, Evergreen, Depths, Lucky Craft, Jackal, and many more. The Hookup Tackle is owned and operated by family, is staffed by guides and verified tackle nerds who love helping anglers elevate their craft. If you're in the Phoenix area, we'd love to have you stop by our showroom and check out the wonderful world of Mega Bass and the Hookup for yourself. If you shop online, there are almost 10,000 SKUs of Mega Bass products alone with hundreds of other companies and new products being added daily. So next time you're looking for that hard to find bait, that color your fish have never seen before, or maybe you just wanna elevate your game, look at thehookuptackle.com. What is up my friends? I am Ben with the Hookup Tackle, the Tackle Otaku on Instagram, being joined by my buddy Jeffrey the King. Happy Sunday morning, Jeffrey the King. You're looking very blue today. I am just feeling that way. Griff uh, may or may not have given me a magic cookie and I'm trying to I see. come to life on mm. Sunday morning. Cheers, my friends. You think Would... that's going to help? This always helps. Does this? This is like my monster. <laughs> you know, see people in and out of QTs, the Red Bulls and yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the bum with the beer. Cheers. Orion for the win on this one. You want one, Jeff? It's still so early in the morning. It's crazy. It really is. And it's been a long week. But... We have some really cool things dropping today. Mm -hmm. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. Let's jump right into it, Jeff. We've got two huge drops from Mega Bass today. Let's start with the limited edition Respect Series color. This is the latest drop, one time run from Mega Bass. You know what, Jeff? Why don't you do what you normally do? Mm -hmm. Why don't you make us something beautiful and bring us the color. I got you. Ready? Here we go. Go for it. Excellent job, Jeff. As Give me always. some. Give me yeah. some skin. Good job, dude. All right, there you go, guys. It's funny how these Respect Series colors go in these crazy waves, right? They'll do a bright color, do a crazy color, and they'll do a real natural color, and it kind of goes in shifts. I'm really excited about this one. If you guys are actually fishing, this is going to be a dope one. So this is GG Biwahagai. So this is a color that has really only been made in the Live X Revenge up until now. So all of these are gonna be first timers in here. So this is a color that was built to imitate a bait fish that lives in Lake Biwa uh, called the Sarco Chilichthys. Got that? The what? The Sarco Chilichthys. You know, you've never heard of that? The Sarco Chalithis? Sarco Chalithis. You got that, Andrew? Sarco Chalithis? Sarco Chalithis. Okay. You guys need to all go back to school. What's wrong with you, Jeff? What? You okay. never heard of this bait fish? No. It's we just, native to Japan? We could just call it a minnow. That's what it is. I see. It's like a baby little carp. So this color is designed to look like that. So you're going to see it's got the pearl on the belly. It's got the fully transparent, that ghost geranium shimmer. So you get you know, the, the shine of the scale patterns, but when it's held up into the light, the light goes through and it's fully transparent. Just a very beautiful, natural bait fish pattern. Gonna be a super rare one too, because it's never been made in any of these except the Live X. So let's just run through the offerings really quick. Of course, the EdoVision 110 is uh, the first one up. Is going to be available in a Giant Dog X, which is super exciting for that guy. Of course, the Pop Max. 
My favorite when they do these throwbacks, the X80 rocket darter, and look what's back, Jeff. By hand job once again. Super stoked for that. The Vitalian. Look, that looks sick. That's crazy. That looks so dope in the Vitalian. That might be the best Vitalian color I've ever seen. Vibration X Vitalian. Looks super sick in that. Okay, here is the Live X Revenge. This is the original bait that it was created in. Of course, it is going to be available in the Pop X as well. The Ko IU Slide Sinker. The X80 Junior, this is really a jerkbait heavy release. This is pretty dope. The SRX Griffin. And finally, the X70. So there you go, GG Oahagai'i, the brand new limited edition respect series color drop. If it speaks to you, definitely grab these right away. They're gonna fly out of here. It's a one time run. So when they're gone, they're gone. So if it speaks to you, grab them. Enjoy my friends. All right, Jeff. A huge drop that everybody has been dying for. This thing has been teased for over a year now. We finally see it come to market. I introduced to you guys the brand new Mega Bass Sleeper Gill. Now, I'm stoked about this because I didn't expect them this soon. I didn't think these were actually arriving until next week. But we got a special shipment last night. We are unloading them as we speak. So. Here you go, the brand new sleeper gill from Mega Bass. I'm gonna show you a handful of the colors, right? There's some bluegill colors, there's some pumpkin seeds, there's some perches, there's even some shads. I mean, that thing looks sick in MB Gizzard, right? So here you go, let me spec it out. It's 3.2 inches, three quarters of an ounce, okay? So they're just doing it in the one size, uh, a bunch of different color uh, patterns there for you. Now, Mega Bass sent us a couple of samples a couple weeks ago to try out. I can tell you they love this thing. They absolutely chew it, right? So, I mean, if you live around a fish that eats a bluegill, a perch, even the shad, I mean, that enemy gizzard looks amazing. They're gonna smoke this thing. Jeff, you caught some smallmouth on it? Yep, they Mate, it. Might have been the first person ever to catch smallmouth because we had the final prototype a few weeks ago when we were back in Michigan. That's true. They smoked it. Mm -hmm. We've been catching largemouth here. CJ and Julius just shot a dope video. We'll drop that for you guys this week so you can see how we're fishing it. Let me break it down real quick for you. So unlike a traditional dark sleeper where the weight is real flat on the bottom and it's designed to like be more of a jig swim bait, the sleeper gill is more of a hybrid, okay? So it's got more of a triangular shaped jig head, but it's not a flat. It's more of an up and down. And the concept of that is to have a beautiful tight swimming motion and to also deflect up and over cover. So you can throw this thing into a lay down, into logs, skip it under a dock. You can put it into stuff and it will deflect unlike a lot of Mega Bass baits that have a tendency to just kind of roll and snag. So this guy is designed specifically to bounce over and deflect. Now, just an asterisk for you guys before you start freaking out. Because this is a hollow bait, right? So these are built hollow up top to keep that hook point and have all of that big gap. So they hook them great. And usually when they eat this thing, it's down, right? So to give the bait all that hooking space and to accommodate the shape of this jig head, what will happen occasionally is when it deflects, it will kind of flex a little bit as it bounces over. And you will occasionally get that hook to pop out on that dorsal fin. So if you're winding it in and you see, man, my hook keeps popping out, it's not gonna affect anything. It's just the nature of how this thing has to move and bend and curve, and that will happen from time to time. No effect on the swim, no effect on its ability to bounce and deflect through cover. So there you go. A bunch of colors. I'm super stoked for you guys to get these. Now, eventually this will become core and they will be available whenever you need them, similar to a dark sleeper. But the first few drops, these things are gonna fly out because everybody's been waiting for them. So if this speaks to you, don't delay, go grab some, stock up. I will do my best to keep them around. So there you go, the brand new sleeper gill from Mega Bass, finally available now. Now, just another quick asterisk. Because we are literally just unloading these now, expect about a one day delay on your shipment time if you order sleeper gills. It's a huge pallet, we're doing the best we can, but likely these won't ship until end of 
Monday, early Tuesday. Okay, so don't panic if you order them today and they don't ship right away. Give us an extra day or so because we're still unloading them. But I wanted to make sure you guys had a chance to order and they will uh, deliver to you this week. So there you go. Sleeper Gill from Mega Bass, available now. All right, and a couple other quick restocks uh, while we are on Mega Bass. The 5 8 ounce in the Waze Swimmer is also back in stock. This is the Japan only size. So if you guys have been waiting on this, this is a great in between that half and three quarter. Still fishable uh, in the shallow water. Perfect with a five inch spark shad or four and a half uh, to five inch k -Tex. So those are back. We also see a huge restock in SV3. So specifically, some of the slow roll versions, we see some of the double willows and some of the larger sizes return in things like pearl shad and cotton candy and that kind of stuff. So if you've been waiting on SV3s, great time to pick those up. And then we also see a big restock in some of the key colors in the Hazardong 4.2. So glow white, glow chartreuse, clear red flake, all return this week from Mega Bass Japan. All right, Jeff, let's talk a little bit of your language here. How about some DRT conversation? Holy shit, you brought in the clash from baits. Finally, I can buy canines and tiny clashes. Did you also get some ghosts? Wouldn't Joker? that be amazing? I know oh. I just made a bunch of people spit out and go to the website, oh. but we're oh. talking sunglasses. We're talking a DRT electric collab in sunglasses. Now, I brought these in uh, a couple weeks ago. We just haven't talked about them. I made an Instagram post and I, I forgot that they're in the case because they just look so pretty. So here you go. We don't talk, talk about sunglasses very often, but what's exciting about this drop is everybody here, we're all electric fans. So Jeff, you were electric. Yep. Griff, you were electric. I were electric. There's something magical about their HD polar lens. It just makes everything pop. They're comfortable. They look dope. So this is a cool collab. There's a couple different styles and I'll run through them here with you. So. Uh, this is the first one available. This is actually a brand new lens. This is called the Crasher 49. So brand new frame. So if you guys are DRT fans, it's got etched DRT up here in the corner of the lens. Uh, it has the all or nothing kind of DRT Logan. Uh, did I just say Logan? Logan. Slogan. <sighs> the effects. Logan. Cookies and beer. Yeah. Uh, so that is on the side. This is the brand new frame. So this is a very kind of Japanese styled frame. It's a much thicker plastic. It's available in both the bronze and the gray lens. So uh, brand new from Electric there. They also released a couple of custom colors in the Mahi. So let me take this out. This is uh, one of the pairs that I wear. I like the Mahi. It's more of a full coverage frame. But there you go, so DRT camo. That guy, and again, you're gonna get the little DRT hit in the lens, the all or nothing Logan on the side of the glass there, uh, and some limited drop colors there as well. So if you guys like DRT and electric, these are some great collabs that might be perfect for you guys. We also restocked all the key frames uh, that we all wear. So Jeff, this is the pair that I usually see you in, mm -hmm. JJF, mm -hmm. right? So these are dope. What do you like about electric? So far, I like the quality of them. Mm. That's huge, right? I mean, yeah, you're paying for the quality of it, but you do get the quality of them. The lens is nice. Like you can see pretty well in the water. So when I'm swim bait fishing, I can see followers a lot better than I have previously. So that's, that's nice. That's dope. Uh, these are the pair that Griff wears a lot. So this is the stacker. Yeah, what, what is your take on the stacker? I'm the same way. The quality of the, the frame is dope. It's really light. Uh, I love the side the side blocking mm -hmm. that they have on it. And then the lens is super sick. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, also the pair that I usually wear this is the JJF. So this and the Mahi are the two that I go back and forth from. They're just light. Uh, they're melanin-infused lenses. So the melanin is actually in the lens, which is going to protect your eyes. Uh, and like I said, the HD Polar Pro, just things pop. So if you guys are looking for a great pair of sunglasses, everything is back, plus the new electric collab with DRT, available now. Do the glasses fit on your big ass head? Yes. Is that a problem or? It's not a problem. Why would it be a problem? I know some glasses have that problem, where some people just have too large of heads. Well, you know, different head shapes do different things, mm -hmm. right? So what's funny is like the glasses that you guys wear look silly on me and vice versa, but that's why there's so many great 
options, right? But I mean, dude, they're just so comfortable. Yeah. I dig, I dig the hell out of the electric glasses. So. XL. Yes. That's fine. The XL. I see. Got yeah. it. Well, it's got to be XL <laughs> for me. Available. All right, let's stay on some swim bait conversations for a minute, Jeff. I'm wearing a sim shirt today. Unusual for me, normally it's a netic, but this is a brand new drop. This is the M Solar Flex Guide Cooling Hoodie. Got that? Long it's a name. mouthful. Now, uh, here's a scoop. Sims took Solar Flex and they made a less expensive version, which we'll talk about in a second, and then they made, made an ultra bougie version, which is what we're talking about now. And this is what I'm wearing now. Now, this is going to be available in this one color with our Matt Stockton super dope T-bone art on the back. So all branded the hookup tackle with the uh, T-bone large mouth. Now, let's just talk about this shirt really quick. This is a $119 shirt, okay? Crazy expensive for a shirt. So here's what you're getting. It's a special material that's designed to cool you about five degrees even cooler than a traditional Solar Flex. It does have longer sleeves, so if you like that, so you like those finger holes on there, it will give you that extra hand protection. It's a super soft feel. Now, here's what else it does. It has a built-in, don't laugh at my hair, I need a haircut. I'm a, it I'm has a built-in <laughs> gator. Okay, so this is attached to the shirt. Okay, so you can tuck it behind your head like I had it. You can put it on, right? It even has a strap. So if you want to put the strap on your hat so that if it's a windy day or whatever, your hat's not blowing around, it's got that on there. It also has a hood. The hood then can snap into your gator. So you can even run across the lake, right? When it's snapped so that it's keeping it all on and everything is good to go. And this is all built in to the shirt. So super comfortable. You're not gonna get any fogging of the glasses. And when you don't need it, it's super easy to just tuck it away right kick it back there and you're back and you're fishing you don't need the gator so super dope shirt really stoked for it there's also a back pocket so this is a zip mesh pocket so this can be a great pocket for storing your phone your sunglasses like we were just talking about kind of fishing during twilight if you're like me and you you wear scripts right sometimes it gets too dark with your script polarized glasses on, you can store them in the pocket, take your other ones out, you can put whatever you want back there, right? It's probably perfect for a beer can, actually. I'm gonna go try that. Is that what that's for? All right, Jeff. Oh, God. True test. Here we go. How am I looking back there? I'm getting a nice close-up of, of The true app. test, Here is this a proper size pocket? Oh, hell yeah. Bro. Does it feel cold in your ass, too? You could probably fit a three-pack back there. A three-pack? Yeah, hell yeah. That's perfect. This way you're fishing. You're yeah. like, oh, fuck, I'm thirsty. Reach in there. Grab yourself a delicious cold Orion from Japan. And I guess with the technology in the shirt, it would keep the, the drinks cool, right? Right. It's going to keep it five yeah. degrees cooler than if it wasn't in that shirt yeah. pocket, right? So there you go. If you need That's a you need. <laughs> fishing sun shirt with a dope logo with an Orion pocket in the back, Boom. only 119 bucks. This is going to be a super limited drop. They're not making many of these. So if it speaks to you, grab one new from Sims. All right, going the opposite direction. Okay, so typically a Sims Solar Flex hoodie are about 70 bucks, 69 bucks. Here is the Sims Tech hoodie. Okay, so this guy is uh, UPF 30 instead of 50. It's just a slightly stripped down version of a Solar Flex, but honestly, it's basically a Solar Flex, right? 44.95 on this guy. And this is going to come uh, with our Matt Stockton swim bait logo, the hookup tackle swim bait logo. So have a feel, Jeff. I mean, it feels just like a solar flex. So it's basically just a very clean, simple sun shirt with a dope logo. So if either of those speak to you, new from Sims this week. All right, let's stay on swim baits for another minute, Jeff. Some big restock from Bait Sanity in the Explorer Gen 2 Glide. So these have been out for some time. I know a lot of you guys are getting to the point where you need some shad colored glides. These are back. So these guys are 9.5 inches, 
five ounces, right? So it's a good size glide, 240 millimeters, basically, right? What's dope about these is $74, you get a full size glide. It has the detachable tail, so you could add a paddle tail to it if you want to have more of a swimming motion. You can keep the flat tail if you want it to have a gliding motion. Just an incredible bang for the buck. So we see colors uh, like kokanee return, shad returns, raw returns, trout. So if you guys have been waiting, back in stock from Bait Sandy. We also see a restock in the Replicator DSF this week from Imakatsu. Now, we brought these in a couple of months ago. They flew out of here. A super dope concept. Since this one fell down, let's just take that one out of the box. So, uh, the Replicator DSF is a really, really dope uh, kind of crank down bait, but it has an amazing walk to it too. So, it's one that you can just cast and wind, and it's going to have the multi segments. Uh, but of course, you can get it to walk and do different things. Uh, it's completely customizable, so it will come with a different tail uh, with these little side feathered hooks, so you can attach hooks to the side as well. So if you guys are fishing, I don't know, spotted bass, smallmouth, something where maybe you need a hook on each side, you can do that as well uh, and just give yourself some built-in stinger. So some great options there. Uh, we see it return in three colors, so you get the bass, you get the trout, and you get the IU color. So available again while supplies last 220, I'm sorry, 22 centimeters, 2.4 ounces. It is a slow floating bait. So super dope, available again from Imakatsu. All right, a very cool, extremely limited product. We've actually had these in the warehouse for quite some time. We just have not got to them. There's only a handful of these. I ordered a million, we got a small amount and pretty much all the staff has bought them. So there's only a few that are gonna drop, okay? But the limited edition fishing sand pie set of the Jointed Claw 178. So Jeff, I can't think of anything more JDM than a made in Japan glide bait set with super dope fishing anime on it. You're shaking your head because this is cool. It's too cool. It's pretty cool. So inside each set, you are going to get three jointed claw 178s. Okay. And each one is going to be painted uh, basically with a different scene or set from the film. So here's a look at two of the three. And then let me open up that other side. There's the third one. Okay. So you're gonna get three jointed claws. There's also a little pack of stands in there. So if you wanted to buy these and just like, you know, set them up like art, you certainly can. Of course, you know, we've been talking about this for the last couple days. Like, you don't think you would use them. No shot in hell. Because they're super they're dope, way right? too cool. But then, like, you and me have been talking. It's like, well, that's the whole point. Yeah. I want this hanging from a fish's mouth, right? Yeah. So there you go. Now, there are two different options. There's a box A and a box B. The insides are exactly the same. It's just the box is a little bit different, right? So this is uh, the one in my hand is the box B. This is the box A, okay? So there you go. They're 210 bucks, right, for the set. Like I said, there's only a handful, so don't, don't shoot me. I did my best, but if it speaks to you, you guys might love it. Available while supplies last. All right, Jeff, staying in kind of a big bait still. This, this is, is the greatest episode. This we've is ever a really done. nice episode for you. Okay, I'm really excited about this. This is the first time I think we figured out almost 10 years that we've had this in stock. That's ridiculous. It's been that long since they've produced these things. So, a return. It's weird to say restock. Right? It's been like a decade. So a return slash re-release of the Evergreen Royal Flash Junior. Now, a lot of you may not be familiar with this guy because it's been so long since it's been on the market. 130, uh, I'm sorry, 13 centimeters, 33 grams on this guy. This is designed to be a multi-segment wake bait. It's one of the best baits that Evergreen makes in Japan for this style of fishing. So each one's gonna have a circuit board lip so it can take abuse. Uh, and you can see it's in four different segments there. It's just a beautifully made bait. It's the perfect size, so it's just over an ounce, right? So it's big, but it's not too big. It's got a great swim to it. You can get it to 
uh, have a little bit of a walk as well under the water. So just a super dope bait. I'm gonna fly through a lot of these colors with you just to give you an idea of what is possible in this. So what say you, Griff? I know you posted this on TikTok the other day. It's a super dope bait. So hopefully that speaks to you or one of these colors speak to you. Uh, I'll do that bonus pretty tight. And there's some blue guys. There's a handful others too. So available while supplies last. I, I hope we get them again. But if history is a tell, this is probably going to be the only batch we see for another several years. So if you've been waiting on a Royal Flash or just want to try something new, there you go, from Evergreen Japan. All right, staying in swim bait. This is like a Pilot crazy on, dude. day, dude. Thank You're God. so happy. <laughs> All right, a brand new uh, paddle tail swim bait. Just what we needed, right? Another one. More paddle tail <laughs> swim baits. So a brand new one uh, from Evergreen Japan. This is the Head Shaker Heavy. Okay. Now let me let me just talk this through. This is a five inch paddle tail. Okay. Why did they create this paddle tail? Do you think? Uh, probably to match, like a jackhammer or a grass ripper. Very smart. So, you know, they produce arguably the best chatterbait in the world with mm -hmm. the jackhammer. Uh, they came out with this amazing grass ripper jig and they wanted to create a swim bait that perfectly complemented both, right? So a lot of guys like to use a paddle tail on their jackhammer. We almost always use one on our swim jig. So this is designed to go with those two baits and they're making them in colors that are obvious, right? So if you're throwing something, you know, like a fire crawl, they're making a color to match that. If you're throwing something like a Brett's bluegill, they're making a color to match that, right? So super dope. Now you can certainly fish them on their own, uh, you know, with a weighted hook or something like that. So let me just open one real quick and I'll let you get a close look. Okay, so here's a look at the bait. So, uh, you know, right away, you're gonna notice it's got a little bit different shape. It's got super hard angles to it. So most paddle tails are really round. This is a super hard angle grooved bait. Uh, it does have the hook slots, bottom and top, but it's just gonna give it a different action. Just something different, right? And that's what all of this ends up being here. Feel that, dude, it's got a little different feel to it as well heavy it's heavy I like this yep so it's designed so that if you wanted to throw it without a swim jig or by itself it's going to get down quickly it's full of salt and it will get down deep and hopefully keep a little bit of extra depth because as you all know if you're throwing a bait like this like a k-tech or something like that you can throw it however deep you want the second you start winding it that sucker is coming up high so this will help kind of just keel it in that depth a little bit more so there you go excited to get them available now the Head Shaker Heavy from Evergreen Japan. All right, Jeff, a few more Evergreen. This is actually a really dope Evergreen drop. So a bait that we have spoken about before several times, one of the more popular minnow shaped baits in Japan, the last ace, we get a new size and some new colors. So in the 95 size, this is gonna be a 95 millimeter, we get three new colors in this guy. Now this is a dope one for fishing on the surface. Uh, you could rig it as a, you know, as a hover shot. A lot of guys will just kind of wacky rig it on the top and just kind of shake it on the surface. So it looks like a dying fish, uh, just have finesse top water. So three new colors in the 95. And we also see the official drop of the new 80 size as well. So this is gonna be the smallest size so far that we've had in. Now the 80 size is great, uh, again, you can fish it as a hover shot. You can fish it on the surface of top water. You can drop shot this size perfectly. This is also the size, if you remember back to when we were talking about blade baits and we were putting baits on the hooks so that they have kind of that swimming motion on it. This is the size they're using in Japan on the blade baits as well. So brand new size, new colors, last ace available now. Okay, and a lot of you guys have been asking us to bring in some of the evergreen uh, soft goods. So here you go. The inner bucket cases are now available. So there's gonna be three different sizes. There is a small, a medium, and a large. I'll show you the large here in a second. All of these, by the way, are going to have, let me open one so you can see. There we go. Mm. Jim's paying off. All right, so all these are gonna be available in a black 
and a white color. They all have the clear top, so which is nice. So you don't have to open them to remember what you put in there. Uh, you can stack them in. So this is the small, right? And of course, a medium. Medium's gonna be pretty equivalent to like a uh, inner case from Mega Bass. There is also a large size. Now this large size is pretty dope for you swim bait guys. They built this specifically for swim bait anglers. So it is long enough to fit a full size ballum in here. Okay, so a slide swimmer, a Clash 9, any of that stuff, it will hold those baits. Now, you don't have to use it for that. You can use it to stack you know, soft plastics or whatever you want to, but if you're gonna use it as a swim bait storage, they also make a pack of foam inserts that you can use. And you can do different things with these inserts. You can use them to stack things vertical. So you could lay a bait down, put an insert on top, lay a bait down, put an insert on top, and they fit perfectly inside of there so you don't have multiple baits rubbing or scratching. You can also put these this way so that you can store baits long ways as well. So different things you can do with it. I don't expect to see these again for a while. So if you guys are geeks on soft goods like this, as I am, available while supplies last, the new inner Bakken cases from Evergreen Japan. All right, a couple new product drops from Imakatsu. Bring you a brand new jerkbait offering from them. This is the Dardo 100. Now, these are gonna be available in a bunch of different colorations. I'll show you a handful of them here. Tigers, clear one, right? So there's all kinds of different color options here. Uh, let me take one out of the package so you guys can see this. So this is a new 100 millimeter jerkbait. This is gonna be on the more finesse side. So it is a thinner bait. All right, so here is a look at the Dardo 100. So it's an 8.8, .8, almost a nine gram. So you're uh, almost to uh, three eighths of an ounce, somewhere between a quarter and a three eighths of an ounce there. Uh, you can see it's a very thin lip. It's gonna be a much finessier movement jerk bait. So if you guys are imitating more of a minnow, of a baby bass, of a little trout, something that's got more of a longer shape versus a taller shape, this could be a great option for you to add. Another thing to note is for a smaller bait like this, we usually don't see them with three trebles. So they were able to put three trebles on there without them wrapping. They do use BKK hooks right out of the package, so you're good to go. So there you go, brand new jerkbait offering from Imakatsu, the Dardo 100, available now. And then Jeff, a topic that is near and dear to your heart. Oh, more right? big swim baits. Thank you, God. Even better than swim baits, oh. right? Bug baits. God damn it. Two weeks in a row for you. God damn it. Do you want to do this segment? Absolutely. I know how much you love your bug baits. <laughs> Not. Are you sure? This is all you do. Is dude. this a new bug bait from Imakatsu? Yeah, new from Imakatsu. This is the Spider Trailer. Goodbye, DRT Clash 9, says Jeff. Hello, Imakatsu Spider Trailer. So, there you go. Really uh, designed as a wacky rig bait. So you can do all kinds of things with it. You can put it on a little finesse jig and it's gonna have that little uh, segmentation back there of moving and having that bug action. But you could also wacky rig this thing. It's gonna have just that really slow bug fall that a lot of guys love. Jeff always looks super confused when we talk about bug baits in here. What say you, Jeff? Are you excited? Well, you know what? If it was a floater and I could, you know, twitch it on the top as like a, as a wacky rig, yeah. I think that would be kind of rad for about 10 minutes and then move on with your life. But yeah, I don't know why they don't make a floating version on these bug baits. Because the sinking bugs are so much easier to eat <laughs> than floating bugs. Everybody how, knows how this. How often do you see sinking bugs? Well, thank God, not very often, Jeff. <laughs> I would never swim in that lake again if I saw them. But... That's why you don't see them, because the bass have eaten all of them, dude. So you can see they're ignoring all those flying ones and floating ones, but sinking, snacks. So there you go. If that speaks to you and you want to be like Jeff and become a new bug bait fisherman, the Imakatsu Spider Trailer, available now. I have definitely lost Jeff on this. You okay there, guy? All right, and finally from Imakatsu this week, we see a huge color lineup addition to the Gekiasa Shad. So this is the 5.8 centimeter, seven grams. So this is the uh, quarter ounce new bait fish 
crankbait from Imakatsu. They advertise it as a dead slow float. So it's gonna have that semi-suspend, uh, semi-slow float. Of course, as are all Imakatsu baits, they are gonna have that magnetic weight transfer on there, right? So they're gonna cast great, lock in place. Just a super natural profile, uh, shad, shaped shad imitating little crankbait okay so uh, i'm gonna fly through some of these new colors you just saw there's a new matte finish right you've got some real skin type colors in here how about that for a little baby white bass or striper mm -hmm. that thing looks sick okay. so sick right yeah so there's some clear colors there's some darker colors there's reds since that's still a thing in a lot of places right now some pinks, right? So some great color additions to the Gekiyasa Shad available while supplies last from Imakatsu. All right, a couple quick restocks to throw out there. Hey, quiet down over there in the peanut gallery. Jackal frogs <laughs> return. So the Fuck Kara yeah. frog returns. You guys know that we frogs. love. Look, you can think what you want about jackal. Mm -hmm. They make an, <laughs> an amazing frog. Two of them. Two amazing frogs, <laughs> actually. So Kara frogs return in all colors. And then my favorite in their line, the Gavacho Frog, is back in all the key colors as well. So you guys have been waiting on Jackal Frogs. Those all return. We also see a huge restock just in time for the cold weather. They might have missed their window. But here you guys go. Maybe it's still hair jig time. So if you've been waiting for a pro fat fly, I know. Where were these six months ago when people needed hair jigs? But here you go. Maybe you want to stock up for next Floating season. Fly? Float and fly. Are you going to do that instead no, of bugs? No, I'm, I'm just going to film him doing it. I see. There you go. Fat flies are available in all sizes and colors again from Spro. All right. And to wrap her up there, Jeff, a restock from Shimano in the Vanford 2500. Finally, we've had the 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000 trickle back in. Finally, the 2500s arrived back. So this is the best-selling $200 spinning reel from Shimano. So we've been waiting on Vanfords. Those arrive. And then the official launch of a brand new tranks now we all love our tranks around here hey don't fall asleep there guy mm. look do you love the tranks 300 and 400 they're not bad yeah i love them i have you have a tranks yes i have a tranks i love the tranks for that two to three hundred dollar price point i think it's amazing now there's a 150 option did you know we needed this jeff well i knew that we had a 200 size correct but now there's a 150 so, why did we need a 150 size trinks? Oh, and by the way, I should say, if you're a lefty, I got nothing for you. I should say Shimano's got nothing for you. So in typical Shimano form, they are releasing a reel in a right hand only, okay? Lefties will come, as always. So, earmuffs, lefties, righties, here you go. The brand new Tranks 150. So these are gonna be available in a six to one and in a seven to one gear ratio for now. There will be eventually an eight to one as well. Uh, basically, the concept of this reel was to create a more of a bass size reel for guys that inshore fish, surf fish, things for like snook, redfish, you know, maybe just in the surf of California. They wanted a reel uh, that could throw normal sized, you know, bass size stuff, uh, but could also transition into freshwater as well. So it's got core protect on it, so it's completely saltwater safe. If you guys are fishing brackish water or saltwater, you can use it. It's a very tight reel for only being four bearings, right? So the way they created it was to create it for strength. So heavy fish, hard fighting fish, uh, heavier baits, it might be right up your alley. I think it's really sleek looking. I think it looks dope. You know, from a freshwater guide, you need this and a Corrado? No, I mean, you have kind of that Corrado MGL for throwing lighter stuff. This can be more of a heavy duty or, you know, type reel in the 150 size. So there you go. If it speaks to you, available now, the Tranks 150, new from Shimano. All right, guys, that is a wrap. That was a lot of dope stuff there, Jeff. A lot of cool shit. That was a cool, that was a cool week. I'm gonna finally. go play with some tackle. What do you mean, finally? Something. I've had bug drops every week for the last month. Hopefully next week there are no bugs. I'm going to make no promises. <laughs> I'm going to try to find somebody else that's making a bug. Cheers, my friends. Happy Sunday. Hope you guys are having a great weekend. Of course, if you have questions on anything that we covered, drop it down below in the comments. I will do my best to get answers for you. Jeff will leave links to the products below as well if you want to check any of them out. 
on behalf of myself and Jeff and Griff and everybody here at the Hookup Tackle, guys, thank you for the time. Thank you for the support. Thank you for your business. Enjoy your weekend. Hug your family. Drink a cold Orion. Catch some fish, and we'll see you next time. Peace.